Now, in this chapter of our Windows Server 2012 tutorial, we'll teach you how to configure Server Core. When configuring Server Core, you can only use the command line. In this video, I will teach you some commands and aliases, and aliases, by the way, gives the functionality of a command prompt, so the most of the things you can do in command prompt, you can also do in PowerShell Console, by using such aliases. But you don't really have to configure these aliases because the system does that for you. There's also the deployment images servicing and management, NAT shell. And I'll also teach you how to remote admin using console and also sconfig. So here's some useful commands in configuring server core. The first command will show you the IPv4 interfaces present in the computer. Now here's the command structure. Here's NAT shell interface. You can also use int, but I'll just use interface right now. Next is IPv4, then show interface. Then it will show you a result like this. Now that we know the interface, let's try to configure a static IP address. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna type nutshell, netsh, interface, IPv4, set address, then name, and by name, I mean the name that we found earlier in the interface. Then source equals static. Then address. This is the IP address that you want. To check if your configuration is implemented, you're gonna need to type in this command. ipconfig slash all. Notice that we didn't configure the DNS. Because we need to set up the static IP address before we configure the DNS. So here's how to configure the DNS. First, the NAT shell, then int, as in interface, IPv4, add, DNS server, name, equals, then the name of the interface, again, the address that you want, index, the index identifies if the DNS server is a primary or secondary server. Then again, to check if it's implemented, you're gonna type ipconfig all. Now, if you wanna know your computer's name, you can just type ipconfig all or just host name. Now, to change the computer name, this is what you're gonna do. You need to type in netdom, rename computer, then the current name of your computer, then new name, colon, and then the new name of your computer, slash user d, colon, administrator, then slash password, slash reboot, and the reboot time that you want. In my case, I'm just gonna put here zero, because I don't wanna, really want to wait. Now, if you want to add your computer to a domain, this is what you need to do. You need to type in netdom, join, the computer name, then forward slash domain, forward slash user d, administrator, forward slash password, then forward slash reboot, then add the reboot time. Now if you want to add a user account, you can just type in net space user, then the username, space forward slash add, and then just add an asterisk. Then if you want to add your account to a local group, you can just type in net local group, then the name of the local group, forward slash add, name of the user that you want to add to the group, and then press enter. Now if you want to check if it's implemented, you need to type user and then the name of the user. Now let me show you something cool. The next thing I'm going to teach you is sconfig for configuring server. Now, this came out with Windows Server 2008 R2. It does allow the same thing such as through a menu system that is much easier to work with. Now, try to enter as config. Now, this is a much easier way to configure your computer because you can just type a number and then type the changes that you want. For example, try typing 2. It will then prompt you to type in the new computer name that you want for your computer. Now, if you want to change the domain or work group, you can just type 1, and then it will make you choose between domain or work group. You can type D for domain, and W for work group. 
It will also ask you the name of the domain or work group you want to join with. Specify an authorized domain or user. You can just type administrator and the password associated with it. Now for item number 4, which is configure remote management, it will let you choose between enable, disable remote management, or configure server response to ping. You may choose to enable choose configure server response to ping so that other computers will gain access to you. Now let's move to network settings. By entering this command, you can configure your network settings. You can see your full IP address and select your network adapter. Then the next thing you're going to do is to set your network adapter address. Just press 1. It will also make you choose what kind of address you will put. It's either DHCP or static. And then if ever you will use the static IP address, then you will put the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway manually. And next is to configure the DNS servers. Just press 2 and it will allow you to enter the new preferred DNS server and the alternate DNS server. You see, sconfig is a very great way to configure your computer. It's very intuitive, you don't have to worry about typos, and I strongly recommend it in configuring new machines. So that ends the chapter 4 of our Windows Server 2012 tutorial, and I hope you learned much in this video. For more videos, check out this link right here.